The IM-99B, advanced version of the Bomark defense missile, is now operational. On May 18, 1959, construction was begun on the first Bomark B missile base. Installation began September 1, 1960, and has just been completed. Major General James C. Jensen, commander of the 30th NORAD region, and the commander of the 30th Air Division SAGE of the Air Defense Command announced today that Kinchelo Air Force Base, located near Sault Ste. Marie, Michigan, became the first of eight Bomark B bases to achieve operational capability. The Bomark A missile has been operational for quite some time at five Air Defense Command sites along the eastern seaboard. However, the missiles at Kinchelo are advanced B models, the second generation, Boeing Bomark, although similar in outward appearance, the B missile has incorporated several major improvements over the A. Among these are solid boost rocket and advanced ramjet engines which contribute to increased performance and range. The range of the B missile is in excess of 400 miles or approximately twice that of the A. For example, an area protection from Kinchlow from attacking aircraft ranges from Rochester, New York, to Columbus, Ohio, Muncie, Indiana, as far west as Minneapolis, St. Paul, and Duluth. The Bulmark flight test program is conducted at the Eglin Gulf Test Range. The men who man the operational bases receive their training here. The missiles are fired against such remotely controlled drones as B-47 jet bombers, F-80 jet fighters, and supersonic Regulus II missiles. In a recent test firing, the Bomark B scored an intercept with a simulated target at a distance of 446 miles at an altitude above 100,000 feet. The closing speed between the Bomark and the target is up to 2,700 miles an hour. The Kinchelow base consists of 28 shelters like these, each designed to contain one missile. The roof of the B missile shelter divides, allowing the missile to be raised to a vertical position for firing. Lieutenant Colonel Robert Kemper and the 200 officers and airmen of the 37th Air Defense Squadron are responsible for readiness of the missile at all times. Primarily, they are technicians and administrators. The missiles are stored for extended periods. At scheduled times, each missile undergoes a thorough examination and checkout by highly trained personnel. They must be ready for instant action at any hour. The actual firing of missiles would be controlled from the combat center at Madison, Wisconsin. When radar and reconnaissance information is received, indicating the approach of hostile aircraft, the information is fed into computers, which supply accurate air intercept time and range data. The Bomarks are programmed and ready for firing within seconds. Other Bullmark B sites are under construction at Duluth, Niagara, and in New Jersey, Massachusetts, and Virginia. The Bullmark Area Defense Weapon System, working under the control of North American Air Defense Command, with long-range manned interceptors and the Nike ground-to-air missiles, forms an effective team for the protection of the North American continent from airborne attackers. There will not be any Bullmark firings at Kinslow or any other base unless we are attacked. It is hoped, of course, that this situation will never arise. However, it is assuring to know that we have an effective defense system should we need it. Since our ability to defend North America from aerial attack is significantly strengthened by the addition of the Bomark B, 
We therefore believe that today, the operational date of the first of these new missile bases, Kinslow, is an important milestone to our defense system. 